بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم سو ہیئر از دی فارمل فسٹ سیشن آف مائی سپلائی چین مینجمنٹ لیکچرز تھرو مائی ویڈیوز ٹوڈے آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو پرزینٹ یو اباؤٹ دا سپلائی چین بیسکس کانسیپٹ سو دیٹ یو کین بیٹر انڈرسٹینڈ واٹ از بیسکلی سپلائی واٹ از چین اسپیکٹ اینڈ واٹ از ایکچولی دا management and uh, when we integrate all these components so it becomes the supply chain management <coughs> so uh, the first thing which you have to understand is basically understanding of supply so what is supply the first thing is there is a need generated from the users consumers or customers so according to their requirement they issue or present the demand uh, in the market when they go in the market uh, they uh, get various products various services uh, as per their requirement uh, against different prices and uh, these goods and services in the market are basically supplied by the producers manufacturers and large organizations uh, I mean uh, processing companies so these are the products which are uh, pr produced by the manufacturers and they supply the goods in the market so basically this is the understanding of the supply according to the needs or requirement of the buyers or ultimate customer uh, then the second component is the chain so chain behavior is basically the real success if i give you an example of a gold chain if you see uh, it, it it is composed of uh, the small tiny parts uh, and uh, make a complete chain so if any uh, small part is broken the value of the gold chain uh, ultimately declines so this is very important to keep all the components of the chain connected with each other so, so the same uh, uh, style the same fashion Uh, must be adopted by the different departments and different components uh, which are related to supply chain management so in that case uh, it could be a real success for the uh, organization or any uh, company uh, another example is like this uh, if I talk about the different de departments within the organization uh, starting from the uh, administration department HR department uh, IT department finance department production supply chain uh, it comprises of procurement distribution warehousing logistics inventory management and uh, uh, then if i talk about the distribution uh, and channel department so if uh, any of the department is uh, uh, isolated and uh, they are not integrated uh, with each other so in that case uh, it's not going to be a real success for the organization and the overall uh, objectives of the organization cannot be achieved uh, so uh, the chain behavior should be uh, learned in, uh, in 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 such uh, uh, you know <coughs> uh, fashion and now i'll talk uh, about what is management most of you uh, must be aware that uh, there are different pillars or functions of a good manager like planning organizing leading staffing and controlling so all th these uh, uh, components or functions of the management must be applied in each and every section or department related to supply chain management as well you should have a vision you should have a mission you should have a strategy uh, to achieve the objectives and then finally you, uh, you must have uh, an action plan to execute all the things so uh, these three components when uh, we uh, join them together uh, it comes out to be supply chain management so now here is the uh, structured uh, definition uh, which I would which I found uh, of supply chain uh, a supply chain is uh, basically consisting of the flow of products and services from raw materials manufacturers or producers to component and intermediate manufacturers or transformation or conversion to final product manufacturers to the wholesalers and distributors and then to the retailers and they are basically also called the uh, channel partners these uh, uh, activities are connected by the transportation and storage or 
warehousing activities and uh, finally these are integrated through the information system planning and key process sharing activities so uh, it, it does mean that uh, all such activities are basically integrated through any software ERP system SAP or integrated information uh, management system and all the components all the uh, partners uh, uh, should be working in a collaborative uh, you know uh, environment uh, or like a partnership uh, I always uh, uh, give whenever I give uh, to training to the professionals and I give uh, lectures to my students so I always say that uh, whenever you are going to uh, study the supply chain um, there will be very frequently some terms uh, terminologies are used like uh, integration partnership uh, collaboration uh, connection so uh, this is the basic concept of the supply chain management when all the docu uh, departments or uh, uh, processes are integrated uh, then uh, uh, you you can uh, be easily you know uh, going to get the desired objective uh, uh, and what is the desired objective the desired objective of the organization is to maximize uh, its profitability or bottom line now here I will tell you uh, if somebody asks you that how you can uh, design the structure of a supply chain of any organization whether it is automobile whether whether it is pharmaceutical company whether it is chemical sector uh, or any other organization you can uh, easily structure the supply chain uh, through this uh, uh, model so if you see on the left side there is a upstream supply chain and on the right side that is the downstream supply chain so what is upstream supply chain the upstream supply chain is basically uh, comprises of uh, procurement side and uh, the activities related to the supplier side basically so in this case uh, there are tier 1 supplier who are the intermediate components manufacturers and then tier 2 suppliers who are basically the raw material suppliers uh, there could be in some cases uh, uh, tier 3 suppliers as well so on the left side they are the suppliers uh, who are producing uh, and uh, arranging the raw material then they supply to the tier 1 suppliers and then finally the supply goes to the uh, production firm production house or manufacturing organization so on the center part is basically the end product manufacturers or local uh, or focal firm uh, who is uh, manufacturing or producing the uh, material goods or services uh, the fi uh, for the final uh, you know uh, the customers then once the goods are uh, ready uh, they are basically uh, stored in a warehouse right and uh, this is transported through uh, uh, different uh, trucks or vehicles or even in the containers uh, uh, to the tier 1 customers uh, who are uh, the wholesalers uh, distributors uh, in the uh, tier 1 uh, side and then holes from wholesalers and distributors or agents uh, this is moved through uh, them to the tier 2 customers who are the retailers and who is the tier 3 customers they are basically the end customer I mean uh, from tier 2 customers who are the retailers the goods are moving towards uh, the end customers uh, and then finally it goes to the uh, consumers or uh, in the market for further delivery or distribution so on the right side uh, you can see this is the downstream supply chain uh, in the bottom you can see uh, a block in which the it is uh, uh, these activities are connected through transportation and storage or warehousing activities and uh, the overall structure is basically integrated through uh, information system activity planning integration so without any uh, you know a proper integration or information system <coughs> there could be a chance of you know uh, uh, leakages of information or miscommunication sometimes so uh, as I told you earlier that there, this is a basically the uh, chain structure so all the time you have to be uh, you know uh, like integrated uh, uh, with your uh, uh, channel partners with your suppliers with the manufacturing firms so all the internal and external uh, customers and stakeholders 
so here i would uh, conclude my today's uh, session or oh, hope you have uh, enjoyed this session please provide your feedback to me uh, subscribe my channel and uh, inshallah my next uh, uh video uh, will be on uh, supply chain objectives because it is very important for a student or a professional to know what is the actual objective of the uh, supply chain so i i will try to explain the objectives a basic core objective of supply chain with the various uh, uh real life uh, life examples uh, from the various organization and uh, so in this situation of covid 19 i would uh, uh, pray uh, that uh, uh <coughs> uh, all the people uh, must be safe stay safe and uh, keep at home uh, yourself stay at home uh, uh, be safe and uh, uh, try to continue the uh, virtual uh, learning don't waste time stay connected uh, and uh, don't forget to uh, provide feedback on my uh, today's lecture thank you so much have a nice day